Good morning, everybody, and uh, this is your Dow Jones Day Trade Setup for today. So, um, we've been talking about the head and shoulders for, for some time, it's not really playing out. Uh, I'm starting to favor the, um, the flag, as I said yesterday. Uh, we do have a bit of a crossover and pointing to the upside. Um, a pretty good run off the bottom here yesterday. Uh, pretty much going into the close. Uh, prior to that, it was all over the place. But um, yeah, we're still consolidating. So for me, there's still no real long-term opportunity or medium-term opportunity, should I say, uh, for a trade to the upside. Now, it is the end of the week. Uh, we did have some earnings come out yesterday, pretty mixed set of results. Uh, we've got more earnings today, uh, which is predominantly going to affect the Dow. So um, yeah, I think at the moment, yeah, we are flirting with the moving averages. You can see moving averages all coming together. I think if you uh, understand the Bill Williams theory, uh, the alligator's gone to sleep, it's kind of the same situation here. Uh, you're looking for them to be pointing to the downside or pointing to the upside aggressively. Uh, and preferably, you know, nicely and measured next to each other, not uh, far apart. But at the moment, we've also got diversions here. And uh, that does look like is the situation. So it looks like we are trying to build some kind of a base. Now, I just want to get that level in because that swing high there is important. That's basically going to be your break and retest of the flag. Uh, the last thing I want to do is just get onto the weekly. Uh, this is the last day of the week for intense purposes, but look at this. Uh, nobody knows what's going on. Sell, sellers are selling off the top here, buyers are coming off the bottom, and we're just flirting with this level. So that's why I say the break and uh, sort of a retest of that area, 34,700 is critical because that could trigger a much bigger move and trigger that flag uh, breakout to the upside. So pay attention to it. Uh, we do have a gap there, so I'm just going to adjust it slightly. So that's probably more than likely the break we're looking for. 34,732 is the exact number. Look at the oscillators at the moment, getting to the upside. Look at the moving averages, really confused, uh, waving all over the place and flatlining. So uh, nothing indicating that there is a break coming or anything happening there. And if we look at the one hour oscillators group to the upside, uh, you could argue it's almost top of a, a top of range. And what I mean by that is there's, well, do, do that. That's your bottom of range. Uh, now we top of range. So, you know, still inside the flag uh, it is possible that we just basically drift lower um, and then buyers come in at the close or alternatively uh, which is another situation um, we looking for, we've got a crossover we're looking for a retest but we're also looking for a break of this double bottom so there is a triple bottom which there's the top and then there's a double bottom there's a double bottom with the top there so um, a retest of this area 34 4, 7, 3, hold that then I would expect another move up to this trend line. Uh, if that trend line breaks, it may just sort of squirt up to 34.732 um, and then bounce back down. Uh, by that time, you may actually have some better structure forming uh, for a move to the upside. Bear in mind that the double bottom target is firstly there. So that's another situation you could break the flag and then shoot up there and then all of a sudden sell back up to come and test it in one bar um, and then the oh, I don't want that I want that the triple bottom is pretty much this move here uh, which gives us a much bigger move to the upside so that would target 34, sorry, 35, 2, 4, 1. So um, 15 minutes, if you're looking to trade, this is probably the right way to do it. Um, you know, hindsight being a perfect science, nice big engulfing bar of structure, bit of a pullback to come and test the previous breaks there, the previous breaks there, and then the buyer stepped in. Um, I suppose I'm well worth it, but for me, it really made the decision to sit on the side. So nothing really there. So what we're looking for is a pullback on structure. So if you look at the moving averages on the 15 minute, that is the area to pay attention to. And bear in mind, guys, any one of these tails could hold us up. Uh, and what you're looking for is you can either pick sort of this fractal um, or just pick the low 
right at the bottom here as your stop. Small position size if you're going to trade it and uh, pay attention to your levels because uh, I don't see us breaking through that just yet. I think uh, we're probably just going to hover around going into the close of the week. Uh, bear in mind the bull's also trying to sort of form a, a bullish bar on the weekly at the moment. At the moment there's nothing there, it's pretty much sideways. So um, yeah, for me, I'm sitting on the side. I'm not even going to bother with this at the moment. But if you do have the time on the 5 minutes or the 15 minutes, you, you definitely are going to get little uh, little scalps. And you can see on the 5 minute for this, you can see there's all the, the attempt to break. And then the break, there's a retest. So you can see you know, there's a tweezer bottom on the break of the moving averages. Great opportunity for a long. Um, same as this one here. Up, bounce off, down, start forming a pin bar off the previous break. There's a previous break. And it moves the upside. So lots of opportunities on the five minutes if you've got the time. But uh, for me, I'm um, not really interested in that. I prefer trading off the hour. Hope it helps and uh, we'll catch up with you next week. Um, just for now.